Watch. Kourtney Kardashian. A season of The Masked Singer that was equal parts controversy and competition finally has a winner. After months of highs and lows, Firefly, Ringmaster and The Prince battled it out for singing Supremacy on the May 18th finale. To kick off the evening, The Prince was introduced with a clue campaign featuring a photo of Ryan Murphy, a Glee Club pin, a cat and a Broadway street. Sign before a rousing performance of Coldplay's Viva La Vida. Up next, Firefly's clue campaign included a basketball hoop, a keyboard and a button that read 5, 6, 7, 8 with the 7 in bold. She followed with a seductive version of Usher's Bad Girl, which involved her performing right in front of the panelist's desk. Finally, Ringmaster's performance of Sarah Bareilles' Gravity was preceded by a clue campaign featuring a horse, a mouse dressed as a princess, a gold chain with the number 80 and a photo of Simon Cowell. After the three performed, it was time for the first elimination of the night. When things were tallied up, the prince was revealed to have received the least amount of votes and, thus, forced to unmask. He was unveiled as Glee and American Horror Story star Cheyenne Jackson. And then there were two. With the title on the line, Firefly and Ringmaster went head-to-head -head in a final battle. Firefly took a big swing and performed panelist Robin Thicke's hit, Lost Without You. The performance won the approval of Robin, who stood on the panelists' table and cheered in approval. For her final performance, Ringmaster sang a version of Katy Perry's Waking in Vegas surrounded by showgirls, which panelist Ken Jung called Star Making. It was time for the ultimate moment of truth. After the final vote, the season 7 winner of The Masked Singer was revealed to be Firefly. Before she could be unmasked, however, Ringmaster was revealed to be the Goldberg star and former The X Factor contestant Haley Orantia. After accepting her trophy, Firefly was unmasked as singer, dancer, model and Kanye West collaborator Tiana Taylor. Tiana's win creates a reality competition dynasty in her household, as husband Iman Shumpert won season 30 of Dancing with the Stars in November 2021. The Golden Mask Trophy will look great next to the Mirrorball Trophy. For details on every Masked Singer competitor this season, keep reading. Firefly. Team. Good. In the May 18th season finale, Firefly impressed with her version of Usher's Bad Girl. Her clue package included a basketball hoop, a keyboard and a pin. With the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8. After advancing to the final two, she performed Robin Thicke's Lost Without You, which was enough to earn her the season 7 title. After winning the competition, Firefly was unmasked as singer, model and dancer Tiana Taylor. Firefly flew into the finale on the March 23rd episode, first impressing the panel with her performance of Attention by Charlie Puth. Then, she writhed around the floor during the final showdown against Thingamabob and Cyclops, securing her spot in the next round. The panelists complimented her dancing, just as much as her singing. Her latest clue package included a photo of Kanye West, sticks of TNT, a fire alarm and the knowledge that she used to perform. Shows for her neighbors. It was a rocky night for Firefly on the March 16th episode. After an impressive performance of Michael Jackson's PYT, Pretty Young Thing, she still found herself in the bottom two. She sang a killer version of Ariana Grande's God is a woman to knock out Ram and save herself, at least for another week. Firefly's mega clue was a photo of Pharrell Williams, who she said has been instrumental in her career. On March 9, she performed Chaka Khan's Ain't Nobody and her video included a program from the famed Apollo Theater, a framed photo of Tyler Perry, references to stand-up comedy and a statue of Liberty figurine. Ringmaster. Team. Good. For the season finale on May 18, Ringmaster performed Gravity by Sarah Bareilles after a clue package featuring a horse, a cartoon mouse, a gold chain. With the number 80 and a photo of Simon Cowell, she made it to the final two and performed Katy Perry's Waking Up in Vegas, but wasn't able to topple. Firefly. She was revealed as the Goldberg star Haley Orantia. Ringmaster wowed the panel with her performance of I Will Always Love You on the April 13th episode. Her clue package featured a reference to Nashville, a NASA logo and a laughing emoji. 
On the April 6th episode, Ringmaster sang a version of Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. Her mega clue was a guitar pick that revealed she was born in 90s. She also called herself a songwriter. After a clue package that featured an image of Miley Cyrus on a coffee mug, Ringmaster sang Miley's The Climb on the March 30th episode. Her clue package also included a box of Circus Ringo's cereal, a game of tic-tac-toe, a bottle of sweet southern liquor and a Golden State driver's license. Ringmaster took a moment to address panelist Nicole Scherzinger and said, Nicole, it's good to see you again. The Prince. Team. Good. On the May 18th finale, The Prince performed Coldplay's Viva La Vida after a clue package featuring a Glee Club pin, a cat, a Broadway street sign and a photo of Ryan Murphy. After being eliminated and finishing in third place, The Prince was revealed to be Glee and American Horror Story star Cheyenne Jackson. The Prince performed Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder on the May 4th episode, which earned him a spot in the finale. His clue package featured a photo of Carnegie Hall, sheets of music, an airplane and a convoy of bats. He sang Sam Smith's Lay Me Down on the April 27th episode and revealed a mega clue of a travel bag with a tag labeled with the letter P. On the April 20th episode, the Prince performed an energetic version of Ricky Martin's La Copa de la Vida. His aerobics-themed clue package featured a teddy bear and a big diamond ring. Queen Cobra. Team. Bad. Queen Cobra performed Silk Sonic's Leave the Door Open on the May 4th episode after a clue package featuring Charlie's Angels imagery, Chili Peppers and a photo of Ariana Grande, Mariah Carey and Celine Dion. Cobra was eliminated and revealed to be legendary girl group En Vogue. On the April 27th episode, Queen Cobra sang I Say a Little Prayer by Aretha Franklin. While it's unclear just how many Cobras there are, they revealed a Mega clue of a red heart that said be mine. Queen Cobra performed Lizzo's Good as Hell on the April 20th episode and had a clue package featuring a bag of money, a rocket, coffee, a Batman logo and a photo of Bradley Cooper. Space Bunny. Team. Cuddly. Space Bunny performed Now That We Found Love by Heavy D. Power Tools. Bunny was eliminated and revealed to be two-time Grammy winner Shaggy. On the April 27th episode, Space Bunny sang All Night Long, All Night by Lionel Richie. He unveiled a giant dumbbell as his mega clue. For Space Bunny's debut performance on the April 20th episode, he sang a version of Harry Belafonte's Jump in the Line. His clue package included a bumblebee, energy drinks and a basketball. Baby Mammoth. Team. Cuddly. Baby Mammoth performed the Shoop Shoop song, It's In His Kiss, by Cher on the April 27th episode. Following a mega clue reveal of a birdcage with a sign. Reading Danger. Wild Animal, Mammoth landed in the bottom two. After a duel with Space Bunny, Mammoth was eliminated and unmasked as cheer star Kirsty. After a clue package featuring shampoo and conditioner bottles, pink hair, a silver medal and a matchbook, Baby Mammoth performed Patsy Cline's Walkin. After midnight on the April 20th episode, Jack in the Box. Team. Bad. On the April 20th episode, Jack in the Box performed a version of Bad to the Bone by Joe Thorogood. With a four-leaf clover, a wedding chapel and a spaceship, Jack in the Box was eliminated and revealed to be former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. Miss Teddy. Team. Cuddly. Miss Teddy sang a soulful version of Duffy's Mercy on the April 13th episode. Her clue package included a photo of Eddie Murphy and a reference to the Supreme Court. Despite a strong performance, Miss Teddy was sent home and revealed to be Broadway legend Jennifer Holliday. On the April 6th episode, Miss Teddy sang Tell Me You Love Me by Demi Lovato. Her mega clue revealed that she's a Grammy winner. Clearly impressed with her voice, panelist Robin Thicke called it one of his favorite performances in the history of the show. Miss Teddy sang Taylor Dane's iconic Tell It To My Heart on the March 30th episode. Her clue package featured a rainbow bed, a Santa Claus toy, two people. Having a pillow fight, a bag of trash, a director's chair and a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Armadillo. Team. Good. On the April 13th episode, Armadillo sang a version of Amazing Grace, which he dedicated to his mother. 
His clue package included a Texas flag, handcuffs and a dog. Leash. Armadillo was sent home and revealed to be Dog the Bounty Hunter, aka Dwayne Chapman, which both Jenny McCarthy and Nicole Scherzinger were able to. Armadillo sang I Fought the Law by the Bobby Fuller Four on the April 6th episode. His mega clue was a motorcycle and a diamond-encrusted keychain. The March 30th episode featured Armadillo singing Secret Agent Man by Johnny Rivers. He told the panel he was born on a mountain, raised in a cave after a clue package featuring rocks, a barbecue grill, hot dogs, a bow and arrow and a tongue-in-cheek image of a literal beefcake. Hydra. Team. Bad. On the April 6th episode, Hydra sang Sharp Dressed Man by ZZ Top. Their mega clue was a deck of cards, filled with all jokers. Their friend Gilbert Gottfried, wished them good luck in the competition. After losing a duel against Armadillo, it was revealed that Hydra was legendary comedic duo Penn. Hydra sang Trains Hey, Soul Sister on the March 30th episode. It's unclear if Hydra is indeed three separate people, or one person doing three different. His clue package included a shark, a pack of gum, a reference to Miami, a beach ball and a magic eight ball. Lemur. Team. Cuddly. Lemur performed Carol King's One Feel the Earth Move after a clue package that included a guitar, a magazine cover and some eye cream. Alas, the lemur couldn't prevail for Team Cuddly and got sent home. Supermodel and actress Christy Brinkley was revealed to be under the costume. Thingamabob. Team. Bad. After a performance of MTKO's classic on the March 23rd episode, Thingamabob talked about his difficult childhood and not always having the support of his family. His clue package included a kangaroo, a picnic table, luggage with a bull on it and a wrecking ball. The panelists commented on his big feet, as well. After failing to move on to the finale, Thingamabob was revealed to be Philadelphia Eagles offensive lineman Jordan Malata. Cyclops sang Suspicious Minds by Elvis Presley on the March 16th episode, but it was his mega clue that really got the judges talking. A meteorite was Brouto the stage with a plaque that read this meteorite crashed to Earth in 1988. On the March 9th episode, Cyclops rocked out to Creed's My Sacrifice for his first performance, but it was his spoken word that revealed the most about him. He referred to himself as a villain and said he tend to connect more with monsters than heroes. His intro video featured a compass and a comic book, hinting that there might be something, and someone, adventurous involved here. Cyclops. Team. Cuddly. Cyclops performed Flashdance, What a Feeling, by Irene Cara on the March 23rd episode. His clue package included a lottery ticket, Milk, Michelangelo's. Statue F. David, a podcast poster and a fiddle. After a fierce final showdown against Thingamabob and Firefly, Cyclops failed to make the finale and was forced to be unmasked. It was revealed to be lost star Jorge Garcia. Thingamabob brought panelist Ken Jung to tears with his performance of Ed Sheeran's Perfect on the March 16th episode. His mega clue was a series of men holding shields, and he joked that he forgot his trident backstage. On the March 9th premiere, he performed Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi and his clue package featured a Hotel California ornament, a bulldog and a tackle. Box. Another hint, Thingamabob said he grew up on rock music. Ram. Team. Bad. On the March 16th episode, Ram sang Learn to Fly by Foo Fighters, which didn't exactly inspire the audience. He was forced to duel against Firefly to avoid elimination. His version of Take Me Home, Country Roads by John Denver didn't do the trick, and Ram was forced to unmask. It was revealed to be Hall of Fame broadcaster Joe Buck, McTerrier, Team, Good. On the March 9th premiere, McTerrier was the first contestant sent back to the pound. After a chaotic performance of Loverboy's Working for the Weekend, that featured his headpiece flying off for the first time in the show's history, the audience was left as flummoxed as they were underwhelmed. Thus, pastry chef and Food Network star Duff Goldman was sent packing. A rough start to be sure.